Yes, people, what is happening? Uh, and welcome back to another vlog. Uh, we are at Burtonwood Services, uh, which is near Warrington. Burtonwood Services, actually on the site of the old Burtonwood Air Base, which oh. is uh, an air base used by the Americans in World War II. <coughs> uh, uh, There's shit loads of birds walking around with cowboy boots on for some reason. Loads of birds on, they must be going to races or something. Why do you reckon they put cowboy boots on? They just think it's great, don't they? So, uh, so we are on our way to Essex. My dad's still fuming because he reckons this video isn't going to go out, but it will go out eventually. It'll so. go out, so I'll probably be like uh, be my 20th fucking anniversary of my death, you know. <laughs> to be able to show this on, on my fucking coffin. <laughs> but, it won't but, go out, this video will not go out. <laughs> Will's been saying every week for three years this video yeah. will definitely go. It, will. it won't go. I bet out. you it does. Anyway, um, the run come one's going first. Yeah. Having a coffee. We're in Burtonwood Services. We're going to the Circus Tavern in Essex tonight, <laughs> which I don't know much about it. Yeah. But we've got a friend called Jack Ryan, also known as Austin Powers, who yeah. is essentially a time traveller from 1970. Yeah. And he tells me yeah. that it's a huge, huge deal. So Well, it is to Jack Ryan because <laughs> for whatever reason, I don't know, but Jack Ryan, uh, he's only 27, 28. I think he's 28 now. <laughs> Birthday last week. He kind of belongs in the 70s. He's got his hair cut like someone from 1973. He wears very old-fashioned clothes, very old-fashioned suits from the 70s. He got a suit made, <laughs> and he went to a tailor's in Bradford, which is a place, you know, where it's like going back 100 years, Bradford and Halifax, those places. He went to a tailor to get a suit made to measure, and he sent me the picture, and the back of the wall, where he was getting the suit made, full of photographs of stars from the 60s and 70s, <laughs> like, you know, Dusty Springfield, Silla Black, Jimmy Tarbuck, Little and Large. Yeah, he loves it, doesn't he? They were all behind him, and that's where Jack Ryan wants to be. He wants to be in the 60s and 70s. <laughs> I don't know why, it's weird. <coughs> what I was getting at was, I've got a fucking terrible cold here. What I was getting at was, he, yeah. Uh, he tells us it's a big deal. So like years ago, this was like royal. I mean, it's still a great venue, but it wasn't this like top, top, top all, shelf. All it is years ago, and go about 15, 20, it was a different circuit than there is now. And a lot of prestige venues. Um, it was a kind of feather in your cap. If you'd worked or you were asked to work, you were invited to work in one of the big venues. You had to be a very good act. A great act to get on places like the Wookie Hollow in Liverpool, Allenson's in Liverpool, Twisted Wheel, the Golden Garter in Manchester. Where's Twisted Wheel? Blighties. They're all gone now, Will. They're all the same. all been knocked down. Blighties in Farnworth, you know, the talk of the North in Manchester. All these big cabaret venues that Jack Ryan wants to, he, want, he, he wants to travel back in time. He wants to go to. <laughs> no, them. but what I'm saying is. Hang on, is, in the 70s gone. and 80s, the biggest venues in the UK for pure prestige, for bragging rights, where Bob Potter's place, which was the, um, what's it called it in uh, Kent? It's the Riverside in, in Kent where Bob Monkhouse used to play. The Lakeside, it's called the Lakeside in Kent. Bob Monkhouse, Jimmy Tarbuck, Kenny Lynch, all the big acts from the 60s and 70s, they all played there. It was your claim to fame. If you worked there, you were big time. And also, probably on a par with it, or maybe a little bit more in the 80s, you had Where We're Going Tonight, which is the Circus Tavern, which has got a huge name, you know, prestige-wise, throughout the country, or it did do with a previous generation. But to be honest with you, myself personally, I couldn't give a fuck of who's working like in a prestige venue like here tonight, or was working on a fucking pub in Kensington in Old Swan called the Lister, which is just round the corner from me, because I could just go to Chippy straight after the Lister. Shout out to the Lister, then get in touch. Shout out to the Lister. If you want to book him. In Kensington. <laughs> uh, I could have done the Lister tonight. I wouldn't have got thousands of pounds, but I could have gone round the corner to the Chippy and got some chips on the way home and ate them in you, mind. And you're getting decent kebabs at the moment, aren't you? I'm getting some great kebabs, 
But the kebabs around Kensington are very good. The kebab place you're going to go to is the International on Breck Road. Nice, right. Gonna get on with this journey. Four hours on the road. My dad's getting the stuff here, so he's dying to uh, open the window. Open the window. We'll get on the road. We got a nice coffee from Burton Wood Services, and uh, it's time to fucking roll. Essex. Let's See you have later, it. everybody. In a bit. We're on our way down to the Circus Tavern and uh, it's in Pearfleet, which is East London, Dagenham that way. But uh, I've had a look at the list of postcodes where people have bought tickets from, mainly Cheltenham, East London, South London. But we've got people coming from all over the UK, really. We've got people coming down from Preston and Blackpool, people coming from South Wales. So we're gonna have a fantastic night. Will's in the driving seat. A lovely day for travelling. Not too hot, not too cold, not too many cars on the road, and very dry, which is always great. Yeah, we've been uh, clocking new gags on the way, and my dad's up for doing some new gear, so. We're gonna do it tonight in new cranky Island. Well, there's the you know. Don, young Dave calling, so we'll have to go. Peace out. Answer that, that press green. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another services. We are at what services? Corley. We're in Corley service station, which is south of Birmingham. We've only got a couple of hours left, really. Exactly. You alright, mate? You alright. What's say? Sorry, mate. We're walking through the service station here, right? How many times have we just been asked to, if we want to buy a TV? To buy a TV. Must have been asked four That's times. That's amazing, mate. Would have got the TV on. All the screen was smashed. But they cover it in like brand new plastic and everything to make you think it's working. Fucking mad, S swear down, just being asked four times if he wanted to buy a television. You get asked to buy a TV, boys, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got stopped and I was thinking, I, I said, nah, this isn't the TV, this is YouTube. He went, nah, do you want to buy a TV? And then everyone else started. Well, you've got to be careful, a friend of mine, a couple of months ago in Liverpool. These guys were selling TV. Do you want a TV TV? And he said, yeah. yeah. He said, this is like 48. So he, he got the TV from the back of a van. Yeah. Looked brand new. Yeah. Plastic on it and everything. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Give me 100 quid, give me 100 quid. 100 quid. Came on, took the plastic off. Or smashed the crack. Everything. No. Yeah. yeah, you've got to be careful. So you've got to be careful. If you're in, if you're in quality services, people might be trying to buy, sell your TVs everywhere. <laughs> no way. Right, so we stopped at a service station. Chilled little vibes. Uh, I'll just show you. We've got a little Waitrose bag here because it couldn't be asked with Starbucks. First of all, this is me dad's very salted for you. And then I've got my lunch. So my lunch is chicken and bacon butty, which is about a bluey. Egg protein pot. Bit of protein in there, get the gains in. Some juice as well. Yeah, know it. And a little protein milkshake there, barbells, heavy, and a diet coke for the gang. How are those crisps going down? Oh. Amazing. Making good time with this, to be fair. The journey's not been that bad so far, so get this scan in us, get another hour down the road, and then we can stop and get a coffee and chill out, can we? Be brilliant. But yeah, Will's yeah. Will done a fantastic job driving. I feel as though we've been on the road for half an hour. We've been on the road for a couple of hours now. Yeah, sweet. So I'm going to go and chuck into there. this. Let's have it. Yeah, I'll let you know. In fact, I'm going to do a little taste test here. So this is Waitrose roast chicken and bacon. First of all, a bit of a Diet Coke. Let's see what this is saying. Quite cold, but Diet Coke needs to be proper cold, doesn't it? Decent. I can't really be arsed with that egg thing, but whatever. This looks quite heavy. It's okay. It'll do. How are the crisps going down? Crisps are sound. Don't really like these service stations because they rip you off, you know, they charge like 200 quid for a pack of crisps. But, you know, never mind. I pay for them anyway. The protein pot didn't get eaten. The protein pot hasn't been eaten. Might eat it later, although it's out of date. It is now out of date. Yeah. Well, it's just reduced. 
No, it's reduced because it's probably 7th of October, October. which you've got to eat it today. Got to eat it today, yeah. So we're in Starbucks. Oh. Only because I've just ordered a double espresso. Oh, okay. And then as soon as I have it, we'll get out of here. But I need to go blow my nose. It's still full of cold. How are you feeling about the journey, good? We've done fantastic getting down here. Right, it's gonna go. Just get a napkin will it, and blow your nose. Oh, well, oh, well. Don't have to go to the toilet. Oh, well. Getting toilet. some huge clocks actually in here. We are actually. Mm. Probably people recognise you. I say clocks rather than clocks. Clocks are very different than clocks. Clocks are very long stairs where the people are trying to make their mind up about you. And clocks are just like somebody might fancy this clock you for a second. But a clock is a lot longer. Yeah, and I'm getting clocks in here. Who's right. you have this clock as well? On my, behind my left shoulder. Who? Behind my left shoulder. Oh, that's an outrageous clock. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. See you in a bit. Two hours later. Back on the road, second stair station is Toddington South. It's 3.22 p.m. in the afternoon. We're an hour away, or an hour and 15 minutes away from the venue. So we thought we may as well stop because my dad needs a Jeff first. And I want another coffee. And you can get Greg's in here. Which is usually half decent. So, I'm gonna get a chicken bake, I think. In fact, I'm not even that hungry, but I do fancy a chicken bake. Did we, didn't we stop here with George when we were on the way to Norwich? No, that was Luton. Well, I that swear we've been. stopped here, it you know. Might have been, yeah. Oh, it was here, well, look, there's Greg's. Yeah, I thought that. There's your Whipsley there. <laughs> Look. Some massage chairs if you want to get involved. Oh no, thanks. Are you sure? What, did you just give me the massage? Three minutes. Do you want to get on? No, probably. I fancy it, you know. We're going to have a little go on these massage chairs. You ready to roll? Go ahead, you, you just jump in. Jump in, yeah? Put you on it first. Let's see how you're getting on. Feeling good about this, so I think. You're in, yeah? You're in. What's it saying? Is it actually? Yeah, honestly, you want to get on it, you know, Will. I'm going to get on it now. Wherever you want. Is it massaging you? Yes, please. Yeah. Is your back it does really well, I'm back in that. Is it worth a go? Yeah, it's good. Is it actually, yeah? yeah. Go ahead. Oh yeah, go on, go for it, man. I'm gonna go for it in a sec. I was just letting him right. be able to test it first. I've already used it when we walked in. So oh, really? Yeah. It's decent then. I might invest in one, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, we're about, we're about two and a half grand. Oh, are they? Really? Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit at home. Fair play. I don't need to rely on the one. A long journey, I felt like what we're, we're doing, it's ideal. Well, when you're driving, well, all your muscles are all tensed up, aren't they? So it, this is very relaxing. All finished on the massage chairs, and my dad's got a pro bar for the first time ever. Taste test on the pro bar. Probably. What was the massage chair like? Oh, fantastic. Well, it's a, time to get back in the whip. One hour to go. How are you feeling after that massage? Well, it was, it was very good, you know, at the time, and I think. It kind of like uh, loosens you up, especially for you, you've been driving. You get very stiff when you're on the road. What was that, um... Pound each, you know. What was the Red Bull saying? The Red Bull as well, I mean, we've done everything right today. If anybody wants to learn lessons about driving long distance, speak to Will Cranny. Brilliant. We set off at the right time. We took the right route. We stopped three or four times refreshments, get something to eat, use the toilet, use a massage chair, walk around, get a bit of fresh air, relax, and 
you know, we're only kind of like 45 minutes away. I just feel as though we've been in the car for an hour, that's all. It's been great. So, congratulations to Will, the driver of the century. Do you know we're driving through a gap? Way. We're about to drive through a gap called Garston. There's a place Will just said down here called Garston. I always thought like Garston, Liverpool, because you won't, you don't see any signs in Garston, any road signs. It's very easy to get lost. Only because nobody in Garston can write or read. <laughs> right. And, uh, Off we go. It says follow for Wembley. So that's how fuck how much we've been driving. Yeah. Peace out in a bit. Couple of hundred yards. So it must just be around here. Somewhere. This is it, man. This is it, if you can see it, guys. Circus Tavern. Perfectly car wash. Oh. If you need your car washing, matey. And this is us. Yeah. The Circus Tavern available for hire. You know it. Boxing club and all that. We just gotta work our way to park now. Just, uh, Meads Corner, you just placed it on a kind of like, uh, strategic <laughs> roundabout, haven't you? Where probably leads to everywhere. Just park here, do you reckon? Yeah, good as anywhere, well. We're here. Well done, Will. Welcome to the Circus Tavern. I'm here backstage tripod over my bag yeah like there's this plane still dre in the background just coming into the dressing room quick look around red chesterfield feels right at home for me dad we've got usual setup diet cokes and waters it's all we really asked for um and all good your end yeah really? just had a lovely chat with lloyd the fella here uh don't think he's the venue manager but or he might be no he's not he keeps saying pete's the manager didn't he so but he's a lovely yeah. fella didn't he Getting up with the sword for tonight. So, I think it's going to be a fantastic night. We've just had a look at the stage area. Fantastic for what you call cabaret. But the surrounding the stage will be great. Yeah, it's going to be a bad You said it was going to be it was cabaret seating. Yeah, that's what they told me. But it's not. Well, that must be cabaret to them. Yeah, you know what I mean? maybe it's a different term they use. Yeah, we'll show you what I mean. But um, Cabaret to us. They said Shirley Bassey shares. had been here. Four yeah, nights. Long time ago, that though. Yeah. Right. Let's show us round. Come on. Let's go. This way to the stage. Yeah. Boom. That'll be the way. Yeah. Get out the way of that. Dad, you've what gone you, let me get through. You've gone through the wrong side of the thing, you just open it no, like that. So this is the vibe. This is the setup. Looking good. Dad, do you want to go for the sound check now? Do you want to? Sound check done. There's still a weird ringing sound in the sky, isn't there? But Lloyd's sorting that out. It's good here, isn't it? Sound. Excited? Very excited. Well, it's going to be a brilliant night, I think. Yeah, I th I've got a good feeling about yeah, it. Very good, yeah. And as usual, thanks to yourself, Will, we're well prepared. You know, no good running in these places. Fucking cars broken down, you're getting there at nine o'clock and all that, you know. Yeah, you gotta be all set up. But uh, here we are, the famous Circus Tavern. One of the top venues in the UK. I'm gonna smash them as usual. This gaff's gonna be chocolate later. Let's fucking have it. Let's go. What were you saying about the room set up? Rooms like these are great. You were, say, you were saying it's so important to how you go down. My dad's feeling good about it. So just getting this set up. Little you know, video. At the end of the day, well, some places I've had to work in pubs, really rough pubs, where only half of the crowd can see you. Because there's like, whatever, a wall or a door or a wall. People are walking in and out. So here, where everyone can see you, everyone's got like a 360 degree view. Yeah. Fantastic. Right, where are you going to stand? Take the mic off just so that I can see this and then we're good. 
Oh, are you? Yeah. You stand that far back? Yeah. So if I'll flip that. Yeah, Where are you trying to get me to go here? I don't know what's happening here. When we used to do like prestige venues, like the points in Sunderland, Will used to go out and film people in the queue, it was great. We're in a, probably the most prestigious venue in the country. Circus Town. And he won't film people coming. I'm gonna go film people coming. My dad wants me to film people coming into the venue. So let's go and have a clock, see what they're saying. I go have a little look. Saying patrons wearing jeans and t-shirt and trainers will not be permitted. <laughs> Okay. What's happening boys, you okay? Frank's moaning at me backstage, he said, it's the people in the lobby, I said, yeah, he said, go and get some fucking pictures then. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Here's a little bit, have a nice night. Thank you. So I'm looking smart. This needs a good iron, but it is what it fucking is. My dad's sorting himself out in the mirror. Yeah, and just it, ready. So we've delayed uh, kickoff by 30 minutes because they're having some food and the latecomers in here. And what they've been doing is it's unallocated seating with the seat and everyone themselves. So okay. it's quite nice. It means that the room fills up in the way that we want it to fill up in. Brilliant. It's going to be a fantastic night. It's a good crowd. You can see when they're coming in. What kind of people just are, what kind of people? Where Some fellas just walked in, he went, are you his son? I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. He went, yeah, see, he didn't believe me. And the fellow went, where are you from, mate? Are you a scouser? I went, are you taking the piss? He went, yeah, I saw your dad years ago, 20 years ago, but up, up north, up, up north, somewhere up north. Soft bastard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, gonna go and get the security because you want to do a quick briefing oh, with them. Sure. I'll go show you the room, show you what it's saying, let's have it. So the security haven't turned up yet. Um, we were gonna hang fire on the show till half eight, and then I went out and had a look then. And it looks like we can, we should kick off at eight fifteen at the latest mm -hmm. because I saw a few people like sitting there like getting a bit agitated. Getting a bit agitated. You can well, tell. Okay, well we'll go with eight fifteen. Well. So anyway, we've got ready to kick off the show. It looks like it's gonna be a belter. Lots of la young lads in there. Quite a mix actually of different people in terms of demographics, age, and. Agenda. So yeah, ready for the bell tonight. Let's go. My dad's getting changed in there. Crystal off now, Will. Go ahead, sound. <laughs> ready to go on stage. Security haven't arrived yet, which is the only problem. It doesn't matter. It doesn't look so uh, as though there's any dickheads in the crowd. They look like a good crowd. Yeah. So onwards and upwards. Will's on first. Let's have it. Let's go. Then me. Let you know on the other side how it gets on. Let's have it. it sounds like my dad's absolutely oh, smashing it. Um, Classic. Sounds like my dad's house. Absolutely smashing. I'm gonna go on my box. See what it's saying. I don't just do this for fucking money or to try to be a film star. I'm trying to get things back. A lot of young people come to see me, I'm trying to get them to realise what it was like a few years ago when we could say what we fucking wanted. Because I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm one of these fellas who don't give a fuck. I'll talk like my fucking dad and my granddad fucking spoke. It's just a fucking laugh. Look, at the end of the fucking day, that bird, you know, that lad there, where is he? Over there, he's not really that fucking old. 
<laughs> you know, they, she's not really that bit at the end fucking ugly. Sorry, mate, you really are a fat cunt. <laughs> <laughs> but you've been a great crowd. Thanks for listening to me. And there's only been one dickhead in here, and that's fucking you, mate. <laughs> but we're here for the fucking night. Don't be kicking off. I'll be back on a bit later on. So all the best, mate. All the best. Fuck off! You horrible little cunt. Fuck off! Go on, go on with Shaggy Bird. You may as well have your other cunts. God bless you, I'll see you later next time. Essex, let's see you for Freddy Yellow! See you in a bit, What do you think? Great. Enjoyable? Yeah. It's a great room to work, isn't it? Yeah, very good one. Any takeaways? Any. Mm? No, they're just fine. Well, they're great. They're different. They're different. They slow down a little bit, make sure they can understand, yeah. But well, that's a crowd, you know, they're fucking fantastic. Yeah. How did it come across? Really good. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. Enjoyable. Yeah. All round, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mega fans told you. Yeah, fans were well. lovely, lovely crowd. Come from all over London and all yeah, that. Kent and everywhere, yeah. That's what you want, isn't it? Yeah. Go ahead. Well, you will. Enjoyable so far. Good vibes. You've been fucking sound, Essex. Top lads here as well. Nice one. I've got some stuff, like a bit of a lot of material, but this stuff, I don't want to record this, it's over the fucking top, so I'm just going to do it. Come on, mate, fuck it. There we go. Don't try and anyone. Come on, God bless. Essex, get on your feet and give it a one more time for the UK's most famous man, Mr. Frank Yellow. Let's have a crack. Where it began. Cheers, Jacko. All right, Jacko. Yeah, Jacko, a little bit of a, bit of a dickhead in that little fella. Yeah, some of the boys on the side, they were saying, can we jump up and sing with them? And a lot of them were just pissed, weren't they? It's a Saturday, in it? So, you, yeah. So you got to think, you know, a bit of a late show. It was decent, though. It was really good. I thought it was a great night in the end. Yeah, it? I loved it. Not really nice people, weren't they? Yeah. What's happening, mate? You're all right. Thanks for coming, guys. Appreciate it. See you later. Hope you had a good night. Yes, people, we're all finished in Essex. Um, what a fucking incredible night. I cannot be arsed driving home. It's four hours 20 to go. Let's go. I'm not arsed. Mackie's adrenaline, running on adrenaline. Talk to me about the night. Top to bottom. Yeah. Let's go. I mean, we haven't really done London before. We've done Mainster and Kent. They were great. Is this classed as London? Yeah. Yeah, this is London. 
The East End of London, you notice, is like 20 miles from the centre of London. But London's a huge city. And uh, yeah, very much so London, yeah. So, uh, and more so than the fact that it's in the boundaries kind of thing of London. Greater London, all the people around here, Dagenham and Tilbury, all these places, they've all moved out from the East End of London, which is like 100 carat London after the war, you know, housing redevelopment. Just like many, many big cities, Liverpool included, people moved out of city centre to Kirby, Skelmers Dale, Manchester people moved out of city centre up to uh, Hattersley and places, you know, so every city centre. But the history, they're all 100% Cockneys here, they really are. Let me know in the comments if you are. And they, uh, they say to be a true Cockney, you have to be born within the sound of the bow bells. What does that mean? It's a church, you know. Um, if you can hear the bells when you're born, then you're a true cockney. Okay. But obviously, 20 miles away, these people can't fucking hear it. But... They said... They are cockney. That if you can see a picture of... Uh, if you haven't seen a picture of Paul McCartney with young Dave, then you're not a true scouser. Well, that's true, I've heard that. Paul McCartney, young Dave, our mate. If you haven't seen this picture of Jerry Vale in the Cobra Cabana with Jimmy and Rocky, then you're not a proper scouser, is that right? If you haven't seen Dave with pictures of Jimmy and Danners and Rocky uh, in the Cobra Cabana, then you're not a scouser. <laughs> Agreed. Some best. Come on, let's go. Right, let's have it. So, overall successful night. Fantastic night. Security were great. Great. Um, Jacko, Jacko and Keith, really Keith. nice people. Brilliant, lovely lads. I'd love to come down. We had a lot of mutual acquaintances. Here. See, that's what th people don't realise. Like when you go around the country like this, there's so many people that are like in the same business mm. that literally you know everyone. Like everyone knows each other, don't they? It's like a small it's village. Fantastic, like a little village. It's all over the UK. You'll find somebody in Newcastle. You know, we were talking tonight about Jamie Longthorn, who's a friend of ours. Oh, Jamie Moran, I should say. Yeah. Who's, uh, Joe Longthorn's, Joe Longthorn's partner. partner. Who's a great friend People of ours. People down here knew him, yeah. Who's the management's here knew him. These guys. And then we were also speaking about the legend of Peter Griffiths. Peter Griffiths down in From the Cardiff, Cardiff, in Vail Sports Arena. Vail Sports Arena. Uh, listen, big thanks to anyone who came to the Essex show. Let's go now then, Will. We can do more filming later. Big thanks to everyone who came to the Essex show. Yeah. Big thanks to Lloyd Giants for looking after us. Legend. Big thanks to Keith and Jacko, the security. Big Jacko, Incredible. Keith, great lads. Big thanks to oh. everyone who is here. If you ever want to see Frankie in your town or city, let us know here below. Shout out to all the Scousers. Shout out to all the people in Essex. You're two of a kind. Love the people in Essex. You're great. I'm feeling a bit delirious because I'm not tired. The only way is Essex. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yes. Oh, we went to the service station the other week when we came to... Was it... Where the fuck did we go? We've it was dead late. Before, oh. Yeah, we're going to this... Mad service station. We mad to. service. But... Um, half closed, this one. It's then. always half closed at this time. Toilet break. And in this gaff, they have a snide... Thing in the WH Smith. Where, where, we, where did we be when we came here last time, Peterborough? You've been here before, Defo. Have we been to Skeggy or something? No, that's the other way, that sun wouldn't have been there. You sure? Yeah, they have a snide machine where you can get Starbucks, which you'll have to try and get in a minute if you can get a decent. But anyway, you're gonna go for the Jeff first. I had two triple cheeseburgers and they were decent. What did you have? Like a uh, chicken wrap, chicken Caesar wrap, and nine nuggets, chicken nuggets. Just chilled out in the service station. I got a little drink. What'd you get? Seven up? Got seven up, yeah. Snow White's favourite drink. Nice. Oh, you've been hit by a car? Knocked over. Oh. You got knocked over, Jordan, the petrol site. <laughs> you dragged the fella out of the car. What did you say? I said, Did you see me? He said, I didn't have enough petrols to go around it. Banter. And um, we're home. It is 4:24 p.m. Uh, a.m. Sorry, we've been driving for four hours and 38 minutes, which is quite decent. Yeah. Good night all around. And uh, Will was the star today. He was absolutely brilliant. He drove from 11 o'clock this morning 
like four and a half, five hours. We got there about five o'clock, was it? And a fantastic night. You know, it was just brilliant. Everything worked like a charm. Big thanks to everybody down there. The Circus Tavern tonight's absolutely fantastic. Down at Perth, Fleet in Essex, 20 miles outside London. Great night. Will has been absolutely a renovation. The way he drove all the way there. And Revelation. he's just driven all the way back tonight. I'm a, I'm a new, if Uber get on me. He's absolutely fantastic. Best driver in the UK, and I thought I was. Now it's Will. Oh, it's definitely and not we you. Brought the house down tonight. Big thanks to all the lads down there, the security lads. Jacko and Keith. Especially Jacko and Keith and uh, Lloyd, who was the general manager there tonight. All fantastic people. And obviously, the star of the show tonight is Will. And his amazing journey. You were the start of the show. Good night, everyone. Peace out. See you later.